Hey all, Irix guy here, and I've gotten a lot of questions, and I appreciate those questions about the uh, the waterproof and ruggedized case that I use for the DJI Phantom 3. So this is without a doubt the best DJI Phantom 3 case, and it comes in a variety of colors. Check the link within this video's description. You can find this yellow color as well as uh, other colors on 400orbelow.com. So check that out and share with others. But what I'm going to do within this video is show you in the field what this case brings to the table. And it's got a lot of goodness uh, that you're not going to find in other cases. So get me some water. It's very hot out here today. Um, one of the features that I like a lot about it is the, uh, are these two locks right here. Now these aren't lock and key, but see you turn these and these latches won't pop open. So obviously when you turn them again, the latches can pop open. Now that's not a lock that you would use to keep uh, to keep potential thieves out of your case in the baggage claim area, etc. That's just a lock to better ensure that when it's below the airplane, when you're tossing it around in your boat, when you're just throwing it in the back of your truck, um, that it's probably not going to bust open. So those are good from that perspective. And there's no key for those, which is great, because that's just something else you have to carry and, and potentially lose. But what this does have right here, and you can see these eye holes, there's an eye hole there and an eye hole, eye hole there. You can put a TSA approved lock on there. So if you're air traveling, you can put one on this side, one on this side, or put one on each side. Check the link within this video's description. I've got those TSA locks, they're very cheap. And uh, what they do, they enable TSA to get in to inspect your case, but they don't have to have a key or a combination. They've got a special key that they can use to open it, inspect it, and then put it back on there. And the TSA approved lock that I have within this video's description on 400orbelow.com, it's even got a little colored um, pop-up indicator. So if that's popped up, when you claim your bag at your destination, you will know whether or not your case had been opened to be inspected. And that's important because sometimes during inspections, without a doubt, things fall out. And obviously the way I've got this organized on the inside, and you'll see here in a moment, everything is optimally organized so that if it is chosen for TSA inspection, you know, they open it up and actually go through the parts that there's minimal amount of small things that could become lost. But with that, uh, with that little indicator on the TSA lock that, that's in this video's description, you'll know whether or not they got in there. And if it's not popped up, then there's pretty good assurance that when you, when you do open up your drone case at your final destination, that you'll likely have everything in there. Um, something I want to show you that you may not realize this case features, it features and it locks. So you got to push this over. It's got a handle. This case has a handle, so if you're rolling through an airport, etc., it just makes it more convenient. And also with this handle, when you're traveling like I do, with multiple um, with multiple bags. I mean, I'm, I'm carrying tons of camera equipment, 4K camera equipment, drone equipment, and obviously clothes because I can't go around naked. I got to wear clothes. So this right here enables me to put a small a suitcase with with all that gear on top of it so it's convenient to roll through an airport etc but when it's not in use you pop that down and that little latch right there prevents it from popping open in, inadvertently very good design as far as handles are concerned you've got a top handle if you want to carry it like this you've got a handle on the side if you want to carry it like this opens up a lot of flexibility options especially when you're carrying uh, when you're encumbered with gear traveling to get those perfect drone shots when you're encumbered with other gear as well, it's good to be able to relax your hand and switch, uh, switch hand placements. Uh, this is a very solid, very well-made handle. Uh, something you might want to do if, if you're going to be carrying it for long distances, you know, six, seven, eight mile hike, uh, which I've done. Um, not with this case, but with my case for my, uh, uh, for my Phantom 2. But it's, it's something that, uh, you know, you, you may want to wrap some some soft tape around this and I'll include that check the link within this video's description because if you if you are going to be hiking long distances with it you may want to add that modification to it uh, let's get oh and before I get inside the case I wanted to show you these wheels look at how nice those wheels are it's they're not inflated they're a very uh, hard hard plastic type material but it's a semi soft hard plastic so it's not something that you know if you just had hard plastic it would be something that would be likely prone to to crack or whatever this is a very I could see using this case for many years rolling through airports etc so it's very well made um, and we're gonna open this up right here so we just pop these up and you can see how perfect 
everything is on the inside. Got the foam in the top. Um, got my my sack right here with my props, the the Phantom Three propellers. And it's it's something that you could with this case. You could position this so that you could have your props on. Personally, I don't like to close a case with props on for two reasons. Number one, it creates the possibility of warping those props. This doesn't push with enough pressure to where it would likely do that, but I would rather not have them attached. Number two, when I'm going into tropical environments where they're, where it's obviously I'm not getting the drone itself wet, but there's salt, uh, salt in the air. And salt is a corrosive. So if you, if you keep those props on and there's a potential that they could they could rust a little bit and they could become stuck to your motor so for that reason i'm and obviously when i fly in tropical environments I always go home with a with a moist not dripping wet but just a damp cloth and i wipe everything off to make sure there's no salt residue on it but for that reason i keep my props i just keep them in the prop bag and these props come with uh they come with the little shrink wrap on the middle part so you can tell which ones have been used and which ones have not. I've only used one pair so far, and that's primarily due to the fact that I use uh, that I use quick disconnect prop guards. So I'm able to store those in here, and they better protect my props uh, when I'm landing. You know, if it tilts over, the it'll likely hit the prop guard and not damage my prop, which is great. These pay for themselves, from my experience. And there, all of this is in this video's description on 400 or below. So check it out. Um, so I've got the prop guard storage. I've got the uh, the propellers in the bag that I just put between the prop guards and the and the Phantom 3. I've got the Phantom 3 Professional. Obviously, this same case would work for uh, Phantom 3 Advanced as well, uh, which is the 1080p version. And you can see I've got it configured to where I've got one battery in the Phantom, so that's configured to fit there. I have not, at the time of posting this video, and I, and I should have it very soon, I'm gonna have extra Phantom batteries. So I'm gonna be able to put them, I'll put one here, one here, so that's two three, four, and then I've got room over here if I want to add more. For me, the optimal number of phantom batteries for me for a day in the field is about three or four, so I probably won't have the need to uh, to add any more than that. Now for travel, when I'm going to and from the, uh, the, desk, the, the geographical location where I'll be filming, for the air travel, I will use this spot for my wall charger. And then obviously I can put my, uh, this is DJI uh, USB cable that you know came with the phantom if, if it's needed for anything and then my short lightning cable that i use to connect my my iphone to the uh, phantom 3 controller so when i'm going to the from the from the villa to the field i put these down in this slot and i leave my charger in the villa so right now my charger is in the villa because i'm out in the field so um that's a, that's kind of a dual use slot there's plenty of customizable room in this case it's something that and then obviously my controllers over here and not just the controller but the controller with the with the uh you know the mount for your for your tablet or your phone so it all fits in here and this is you know having everything in one place is optimal because ultimately if you're doing what i'm doing and you're going out and you're filming uh entertaining recreational videos out in the out on an island somewhere or on a mountain or wherever you are you want to minimize the amount of bulk that you got to carry and being able to put it all been able to put all my phantom gear down to the prop guards and obviously if i was using a tablet to control this instead of a phone i don't put the phone in here because i keep the phone in my pocket in case i get a phone call but there's plenty of room if you wanted to put a uh, put a tablet or a, or a phone in here you could pluck it out and and make it fit that so just super customizable Again, I went with yellow because I like the contrast of yellow against dark objects. And dark objects primarily, in my case, being water. Whether it's on a lake, whether it's in an ocean. Because when you've got waves, even if they're small waves, if you've ever put anything in the water that's blue or black, it's, it's hard to see. Whereas this yellow really stands out. And there's another color you might like too. It's the international orange. I've got all those. Check the link within this video's description. I've got every case color in... Uh, on 400below.com. So I just wanted to show everyone how awesome this case is. It's hard to appreciate how awesome this case is until you've got it in your hands. And and as you saw earlier, I mean for when you're out in the field if you're on a say this grass had been wet 
because there is it does seem there's probably a hurricane getting close um, if this grass had been wet this acts as a great little landing surface it's bright it's easy to see and uh, it's flat just a really good case so yeah I mean I could ramble on and on about this case but you can check out my other videos check the link within this video description it's all there if you don't find what you're looking for send me a message and I will definitely reply with links to everything that you're looking for if I can find it and that's the big if because there's a lot of stuff right now I'm trying to find uh, such as the uh, as the lens cap uh, preferably not just a lens cap but a um, but a filter a UV filter ND filters uh, that obviously double as a as a protective piece for the for the lens as well so yep good stuff so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irixcap y'all have a good day